let's move on to Dev E. So look, I told you guys, and I mentioned it a couple times, Dev E is AI compliant and it's medical HIPAA, Health Insurance Potability and Accountability Act. If you guys know me personally, uh, my job before crypto was I was the vice president of a collection agency. We called people, you know, I ran an office where people called people up for money and told them to pay their bill. Most of it was medical based. Now, that being said, HIPAA, uh, Health Insurance Potability and Accountability Act, was a compliance narrative that you had to be fully compliant with at all times, meaning that you could not reveal medical data about anybody or anything. Now, I'm a third party. I was not under HIPAA compliance, but the people that were were the doctors and medical providers, and they required us to be in compliance. So um, being compliant to that is going to be a big deal. Now, let's take this a step further. Uh, what were we super bullish on because it was going to be a medical blockchain or something like that a long time ago? Lillian Finance. Was it a scam? Most likely. Like it, it didn't, I, I don't think it meant to be. I, I, at no point did I ever think that Lillian Finance was a, an actual scam. Uh, I just don't think that it had the right things at the right time. It was built in a bear market. It couldn't survive a bear market. Uh, I, I got some stories about the, 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 the Luis and, and those fucking people over there uh, and, and and how that I'm saying too much. Um, anyway, and by the way, um, it, it was um, uh, it, it was the guy who remember 100x gems. I did 100x gems promo videos because he was coming up with this project. Right. That guy stole the liquidity. Not only did he steal the liquidity, he also turns out he was the guy who sold the top on on that Coinbase listing that really was not real. And I've talked to Barney a couple of times and Barney's even said like, you know, it has to be somebody from the team that was scamming me to make it look like that, to pump the chart so that they could sell at the top. Like it has to be. And guess what? Um, uh, as more information has been coming out, which cannot be shared with you guys. Yeah, 100%. So take that for what you will. But they were a medical blockchain. That was the whole idea. And it seemed like a fascinating premise. So there's a lot of people out here that understand that blockchain technology in the medical industry is going to be a big thing. Well, guess what? That's exactly what DevX is capable of doing for you. If you are an investor, if you are looking for uh, uh, something that's medical, uh, in its, um, uh, as far as blockchain technology, stuff like that. Uh, if you're looking for something along that line, then guess what? You're going to find it at the Dev E uh, community. And not only that, let's come over here and I want to show you a video. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, Dev ecosystem, uh, boom, right here. There we go. All right. So, uh, this right here, if you have not, I'm going to encourage you to go check, uh, Dev E ecosystem, on YouTube. I don't do these, but, uh, you know, I am partner with them. That's why we talk about them every day. And, uh, while I'm at it, Austin ramp, if you know him, it's Austin from block uh, he's now making videos for them on their website. What gives the dev token its value and dev and AI. Those are the things that you need to learn about. If you're interested in, uh, AI technology and blockchain technology, this is going to be a banger. And there is something, there's something working underneath the surface here that I don't know about. I have no idea exactly what is going on. I don't even think that Austin does right now. I'm going to draw circles around him right now uh, because yesterday I called him and I'm like, hey, man, what kind of lighting do you use? Because I really like his lighting and it drives me crazy right now. So I'm just doing this because I'm nervous because I really liked his lighting scheme. And you notice my lighting is a little bit different today because, God damn it, uh, I, I really like the way that he was lighting his studio. So anyway, the point is he, he gives you an in-depth, detailed description of exactly what Dev E token uh, can do and what gives the, the DevX blockchain its value. It's a permissioned blockchain. So if you are uh, in need, uh, if you are in need of a permission blockchain as a business entity, this is one that you can use. Why? Because it does up to 8 million transactions per second, and it settles transactions in under one second. These are almost immediate transactions uh, that you can do. Also, it uses one billionth the energy of Bitcoin because it's a it's kind of a proof of validator uh, sort of scenario. It's a it's a it's a it's an interesting sort of setup because you are allowed in a permission blockchain. If you were to decide, hey, you know, I need a blockchain and I'm going to lease this blockchain, right? They'll give you 
uh, a permissioned section of your blockchain and you just spin up your own shards, you can validate it for yourself. You don't need outside validators because it's not permissionless. You can be the permission validator who validates every transaction for your own blockchain in order to settle everything on the chain. So you are in control of your neck of the woods, if you will. Now, built into this technology is full HIPAA compliance, full uh, AI compliance around the world, by the way, not just the United States or anything like that. The most stringent guides are, are what is able to do. And one of the big things about uh, uh, the, the the problem with AI at this point, just, just so you guys know, because I don't think that you guys realize how crazy the the, the whole AI thing is 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 going to be in terms of uh, the business needs. OK, if, if I'm using AI and I'm trying to make a video now, if I film a video and it's five minutes long. That's going to be about three to 600 megabytes. If I do like in this one right here, 18 minute video. Um, by the way, look at that setup. Look at that. Look at that clean green. Uh, it annoys me when people have really nice setups like that. Anyway, it's 18 minutes long. That's probably almost three gigabytes. Now, if you are an AI technology, then you need a cloud that can handle that type of storage. So if I told you, oh, no problem, I can use one terabyte of storage. No, you can't. Not if you have a lot of customers. You need a lot of customers. Well, that's what the that's what DevX will allow you to do on their blockchain. All you have to do is just increase the space that you have for storage. And you can just, the permission blockchain is almost endless. All you have to do is have enough shards to settle the transactions and then boom, you can do it. So inexpensive, this is, guys, I, I assure you, I assure you, this is the future. Now, there was a rumor a long time ago that, and I don't know whether that is or, or is not the case, right? But there was a rumor that they were gonna be partnering with somebody like in, a, you know, like a big company of some sort. And there's always rumors, right? Uh, and I don't know, I have no idea who it is, but there was a room that they could be partnering with the big company pretty soon. Could be started by the community, just trying to read between the lines. But at some point, they will be partnered with a big community. And once they do, I want to give you just an idea. I want to give, and, and look, I'm going to get on a, a very quick rant here. But uh, if you look at Devi right now, it's about 13, 14% on the day. It seems like it's breaking out from, remember I told you before that I think that that rounding has started to happen. Well, I haven't confirmed it yet. Uh, because you need a little bit more data, but you know it continues to move upwards. And if I, you, if you remember yesterday I, when I showed you this, I said this right here is what you're going to have to break out of. Well, it's breaking out of it. Uh, it, it settled back down below uh, in the last two hours, but that also created a wick here where it's looking like it's getting bought back up. So it could be set for a, a nice little breakout. Like it really could be set for a nice little breakout. However. Uh, the point is the market cap. So the market cap right now, look at this, 11.82 million. Now, what happens when you're partnered with a major, major, major worldwide company? And I'm not saying that I even know who it is or that they are or anything like that, but I'm going to show you as an example. And the example that I'm going to give you, because God damn you, Justin, you make me talk about this goddamn thing all the time. It's Ondo. Ondo is now the number 57 crypto uh, in, in all of... Uh, cryptocurrency. What's the market cap? 1.5 billion. Why is it a 1.5 billion? Well, because BlackRock is invested in it. Let that shit sink in. Just, just let it sink in. Now, this converts real world assets into. This is an RWA, um, and it does. By the way, does have AI, but it, but it's an RWA. So, what is the value of it? Well, uh, goddamn, 1.5 billion. So let's go back over here. 11 million versus. Uh, 1.5 billion. If you know, if, if something crazy were to come along, uh, here's the all-time chart. By the way, uh, all-time chart. Ondo, just in case you guys didn't know, Ondo launched over here. By the way, big pre-sale, big, 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 big pre-sale, big everything. You know, that, that, that goes into. It. I'm not saying that this didn't launch with a massive cap or anything like that, but it launched at 0 0.08 cents, 0 0.089 cents, uh, and then. It just started taking off from there. Why? Because that narrative, that narrative became all about BlackRock. And then what did it do? It exploded to, let's see the market cap over here. Uh, it started off with a market cap of bum, 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 bum. January 22nd. It had about a 300 million market cap. Now it's 5X from there. Um, but again, this was something where we knew what was going on. And I mean, that's crazy. So um, I, I think it is my opinion that we're about to see 
the same kind of breakout happening on um uh, on dev devx the the dev system uh devx blockchain i just i just get this feeling that we are about to witness something dramatic happen and by the way for me dramatic would be 100 million market cap again it's at 11.8 million right now and if i zoom out and i give you guys just kind of the the the, the glance over here at 30 cents that's a uh, 12 million dollar basically 12 million dollar market cap at 30 cents uh if you come back here to the big i don't always keep that on but if you come back over here and you look at it and you just say well you know what it was two dollars and 25 that's 8x from where it is 8x from where it is about 100 million market cap so this thing is going to test again 100 million market cap the question right now is are we going to break out? Well, when you look at this from this descending channel, uh, what we just had was a breakout above the descending channel. And now we're having a break towards the upside. I think 64 cents is probably the long-term move neck. Uh, that's long-term. Uh, I think that 64 cents is a minimum uh, kind of move. And I think it's going to be based on any kind of crazy announcement that might happen if there is, in fact, one in the chamber. If there is, and guys, I'm not saying that there is. I'm just saying that if there is, this would be incredible, right? Just a 2x from here uh, would be a, a very nice move. But the other thing, the other thing is when you look at this, um, uh, the, 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 the move here, by the way, there is a bearish divergence on the chart. So just in case you're, you know, if you're, um, uh, if you're looking, there is a bearish divergence. And the reason that there's a bearish divergence right now is because one of the whales was doing big buys here because they, they agree that something big is about to happen. So you're seeing whales coming in and buying. And then some of the original, uh, uh investors who were here during the presale, they're still selling off. But it looks like the sell pressure is not as much as the buy pressure, and that's the breakout. So if it breaks out, then uh, it could get wild. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm running a little bit late on this, so that's my time, guys. Got to get out of here. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going And by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here, 19 June, 2025. We're going to go three Bitcoin on this move. All right. So we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game, guys. I put in half a Bitcoin uh, previously. If you remember, it was $30,000 Bitcoin at that point. So, you know, we put in about $15,000. My crude interest so far, and by the way, I do have, this is a share because it's a 50-50 split, but my cut of that $84,241 right now in Bitcoin. So this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today.